hundred jets landed in Kano yesterday. And yet, um, if a pastor buys one, they will talk. Reno Mokri said that hundred jets landed in Kano yesterday. Nigerians are quiet. If a pastor buys one. They will talk. A former special assistant to former president Goodluck Jonathan Reno Mokri has once again spoken according to a tweet he made this morning on his verified Twitter handle. He made it known that over 100 private jets reportedly landed in Kano yesterday after President Buhari's son's uh, uh, wedding. Um, but Nigerians are quiet. Um, speaking further, he stated that if a pastor buys one private jet, Nigerians will wake up from the hypocrisy and drag the pastor as if they elected him to be a national pastor. He need, he ended his tweet by making it clear that Nigerians love the oppressor. Here is what he has to say. He said, um, 100 private jets reportedly landed in Kano for Buhari's son's wedding. Nigerians are quiet. If one pastor buys a private jet, Nigerians will wake up from their hypocrisy and drag him as if they elected him to be a national pastor. Um, Nigerians love their oppressors. That, that is all. Well, this is indeed a funny one from Renal Mokri, but he made a valid point here. I didn't see any reason why we must continue to attack pastors for buying private jets. Yet, we are not criticizing all those politicians who steal our commonwealth. Nigerians should please leave men of God alone and face those, um, these politicians because they are our common enemies in this country. As long as I'm concerned. Hmm. Okay, oh, Reno Mokri has said it all. And what he said is true. Because all those politicians are the ones who are enemies. Because they are the ones who have taken our common wealth. They are the ones who have stolen all our money. They are the ones who are making thousands of Nigerians to go hungry. They are the ones who have made the lives of many Nigerians' household miserable. Let's go to the comment section and hear their take on this. Um... Are those private jets for imams and is the church turned to a company where uh, pastors will acquire profits and buy a private jet? If pastor wants to have a private jet, let him venture into business or politics because the man of God shouldn't have a private jet while their members are dying with hunger. Hmm. Okay, uh, says who? What verse in the Bible did you see it? What a jealous heart full of bitterness. Either you like it or not, pastors will continue to buy, uh, continue buying private jets, and the politicians will continue oppressing you till your bitterness finish. Okay? Pastors are made to teach the politicians and others, unbelievers, the truth not the same as politician, political men. The major work of a pastor is to catch the souls and not wealth gathering. Okay? Well said, my dear. Um, nobody go talk now. Now the whole house just quiet for comments. But if now a uh, pastor bring those private jets, comments for don't fool fool here now. Wow. Okay. Um, this one say we know that politicians stole our money to buy private jets, but where did pastors get billions of naira to buy one? Okay. Pastors and politicians are different. Jesus walked to everywhere he went, even on water. <laughs> okay, so the generation of Jesus Christ is still the same generation we are, Olodu. <laughs> okay, so here he is saying that some people just reason like robots. This man is making vital points. Some people, when they heard any headline measured pastor they vomit like dogs <laughs> men of god are god's servants any utterance against them would be judged would be accounted for beware <laughs> okay oh, some people here are saying in jesus time there were wealthy people in the society yes jesus scrambled for wealth with them uh how many horses donkey houses cows etc did jesus have as his own None when he needed one for his missionary work, he borrowed and returned. Hmm. Okay. And someone here is saying so bad I can even see some stupid ones who knows how to talk to men of God and how and they are busy congratulating the guy is is their younger brother is money 
meant for us they are spending like that and you are saying congratulations with hunger in your stomach <laughs> if you hate those that prosper you can never prosper for those that think that being a pastor is simple let them try let's see how many persons they can gather together hmm. my brother it's not easy that is why one senior pastor was sacking junior ones because they failed to generate revenue to the church hey. One one. All I know is that those pastors didn't steal any money. Rather, their followers prefer to give them willingly and are ready to give in order for their issues to be mediated. Okay? Someone here is saying, then let the pastor give all to the poor in the church and poor people that fool uh, African countries willingly as our Lord Jesus did, gave himself all everything for us, even until died on the cross <laughs> okay well, that is why they say there is no man who could be like Jesus even Jesus himself said that we shouldn't be like him but we should rather be, um, um, be more than him so, but since we can't even be like Jesus then how can we even try to mo be more than Jesus <laughs> this is business they don't force you rather you go to them and plead why they hyp hyp hypnotize you Eh? You make them celebrities worship uh, them because you reject Bible teaching about false prophecies, and so it's not their concern. Eh? Hmm. Moreover, Reno, can you tell me an Islamic Malan that have private jets? Because all the nonsense you are saying you referred is to Islam. He didn't refer anything to an Islam anybody. He said. Thousands of private jets were la and landed in a uh, Kano yesterday. That is what he said. He never referred to any imam. Why is it that you people do not listen? You just go about and um, saying what you don't know. Okay. Um. In any church member complaining to you, or are you, you the hungry church member? Hmm. Did they not? Did they need to complain before you know what they are passing through? Hmm. Okay. Oh story story well either you face your own business if you have nothing good to say mind your business mind your thoughts and mind what is you what comes out of your mouth and stop all this hypocrisy and um, judging a man of god so on and so forth we should rather like what um the writer said we should rather um um, hate those politicians who are the ones who are making us go through the kind of things we are going through and not the innocent pastors that we should stop judging them and leave them to God for judgment but those uh, politicians the reason why we tackle them is because the money they are spending is our ad and taxpayers money that is why we do um, grumble or talk whenever we hear any politicians a buying private jet. Well, you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.